So this problem's asking us to find the average velocity of a guy who traveled 30,600 kilometers over the course of several years. The thing that's kind of interesting about this problem is that our time interval is given to us in the form of two dates. So if we want to find out how long it took him to travel this distance, we're going to need to figure out the number of days that elapsed between the two dates given. So there are a few different years we need to account for. There's 1977, starting from January 26th, 1978, 1979, 1980, 1981, 1982, and 1983, ending on September 18th. And of course, remember that there are 365 days in a typical year. So for 1977, he started walking on January 26th. So 365 days in a typical year, but for the year of 1977, we can disregard the first 25 days of January because he wasn't walking during that period. So 365 minus 25, that's 340. So that's 340 days for 1977. Then we have all of 1978, so that's 365 days. All of 1979, 365 then all of 1980, which is actually 366 days, because 1980 was a leap year. All of 1981, 365 days. All of 1982, 365 days. And then finally, 1983, but only up to September 18th. If we add together all the days of the first eight months of a typical year, and then add the 18, the first 18 days of September, then we find that that is 261 days to account for in 1983. And then if we just add these days together, then we find that the time interval we're looking for is equal to 2,400 27 days. But of course, we're being asked to find the average velocity in meters per second, so we need to have a conversion factor from days to seconds. So I'm going to change color here. So one day is equal to 24 hours. So 24 hours for one day. And 24 hours has 60 minutes. One hour has 60 minutes. One hour for 60 minutes. And that is 60 seconds for one minute. So if you multiply 24 by 60 by 60, then we find that one day is equal to 86,400 seconds. So one day is equal to 86,400 seconds. So that is the conversion factor we'll have to keep in mind. So now we'll just use the average velocity formula, or the average speed rather, because it's only asking for magnitude. So the average speed is equal to distance divided by the time interval. And the distance in the problem is given as 30,600 kilometers. So that's 30,600 and again, we're being asked to put this in meters. So I'll multiply by 10 to the power of 3 to convert into meters. And then divide by the time interval of 2,472 days. But then applying the unit conversion into seconds. So that's 86,400 seconds per day. Put that into a calculator, and we find the average speed to be 0 0.146 meters per second. And that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. That's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.